The first thing in putting the ruckus head back together is we have to take the valves, which is this is the exhaust valve. And the index valve or the in, intake valve is already in here right here. This little green thing right here is the valve guide. They are pounded in. There's one on the intake and one on the exhaust right here. So you make sure we've already ground the valves. We're going to install one valve at a time. As you can see on the top of the valve stem, which is right, right here, it has a little groove in it. That groove holds the valve spring keepers. Uh, there may be another name for them, but I'll explain how that works. This is a, a small, this is a, a valve that has been taken apart right here and with the pieces to show how it's put back together. What we have is a valve. We have the um, spring keeper right here which holds the spring. There's one spring on each valve. And then it has two little keepers that, let's see if I can put this down. The little keepers are, they fit, I don't know if I, I, I don't know how, if I can do this, but they fit right in the groove right here, okay? And they're in halves, and when they're together, they form a, a hole. The inside of the spring keeper is concave, which means that when the spring is under tension underneath here, and the spring goes like that that's how it goes on top of it right there the valve end goes through the spring and goes through the top then the two keepers are put together as a unit you can see there's one right there and if I put the other one on top of it and I don't know if I can because my hands aren't working that well anyway the other one goes on the top of it the trick is how do you hold the spring down in order to get the keepers on and that's where you need a valve spring compressor. This compressor will push down on the valve spring and the valve spring keeper right here. And the other side, let's see if we can do it this way. The other side that holds the valve is another piece that goes on to this C-shaped tool. This holds the spring from coming out of the bottom of the head right here. It, it attaches right there. Now as I, as I apply pressure with this compression tool it will push the spring and the valve spring keeper back down against the valve. Then we can see the ends of the, ends of the valve itself and then I have to take my fingers and go in these little slots and place the keepers in. Once I put the keepers in the valves, then I loosen the tool and this will pull away from the valve causing the valve stem or I'm sorry, the uh, spring keeper, you know, the spring keeper will rise over the keepers and be held in place by the spring tension. So I'm going to set up the, um, the valve spring deal right now. You cannot do this by hand. Okay, You have to have um, a motorcycle valve spring compressor on this. It's a special tool. It's not expensive. You can get them for 20 or 30 bucks. But you have to have it. There's no other way you can do it that I know of. And most springs on most cars and most four strokes have the same type of holding apparatus.